you guys to see the Eagle Kids' um, Easter production. Now, a lot of you may not know this, but in Eagle Kids, like, we party. We get down. We get to know the Lord. We dance. We sing. We praise. We worship. And let me just tell you, this is your future membership, Pastor Lee. And let me just tell you, you have got some worshipers. <laughs> you have got some prayer warriors and some actors. So here's the thing. We, this has been a labor of love. We've enjoyed every minute of it. Some of it's been hard, but we, we've enjoyed every moment of it. Um, we have, and I mean that. I'm sweating, but I still mean it. Um, here's the thing. They have assigned parts, and what you guys don't know today is that we've also choreographed some things for you to do. So ladies, if you could hold up your sign. So we're going to tell you when to clap. So I need you to do like Simon says. When you see the sign, what are you going to do? And then when they put the sign down, you're going to, okay, let's just try it one more time just for exercise. Okay, so I thank everybody for your help, parents, volunteers, whatever, because you guys are the ones that have made this entirely possible. I want to remind everybody that we are dealing with children, and so there might be a couple little oopsie daisies along the way, and guess what? That is perfectly fine, because at the end of the day, all the glory goes to who? God. That's what this is all about, so be patient with us, and if you need something to kind of get you through the rest of it, and I've told all the children, my, I grew up in a VHS generation. My parents recorded everything, and they used that against me as I got older to show boyfriends, friends, and whomever. So thank you for helping us, but you're also welcome for the gift that I'm about to give you in just a moment, because there will be embarrassing moments. Anyway, so glad you were here. Hope you enjoyed the presentation, and y'all be blessed. Eagle kids believe that Jesus died, was buried, and on the third day, he rose again. Now that's something to shout about. Again, we're so glad you're here and hope you enjoy. Whatever. Hey! It's me! Aren't you excited? Oh, yeah, sure. We're real excited to see you. What are you guys talking about? We're talking about Easter. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm all about Easter, and I'm here. Why aren't you excited to see me? It's not that we're not excited to see you. It's just that you know what Easter is all about. I'm not? No, you're not. And so that's what we were just talking about. It's all right here, and we were just reading it about how the disciples got the greatest surprise ever on that first Easter morning. <laughs> Let me guess. I know. It's about a giant-sized, super-sized basket of candy about this high. No? No! There's so much more. Now, don't get us wrong. We like candy. It's just, if that's what all Easter's about, it's a pretty empty holiday. If it's not about me and not about candy, then I'm lost. You see, Jesus came to earth to seek and save the lost. Yeah, Jesus died and was buried, but on Easter, he arose from the dead. You clearly don't know what Easter is about. Let's talk about this some more. Hmm. I'm Easter Easter Bunny. 
Clearly, he does not go to Eagle's Nest. He should come to church tonight in 11. to plant his creation. But evil entered the world. It disrupted the garden. People sinned, and nothing was the same. Pain, suffering, brokenness. But God sent Jesus to make all things right. He went to the cross to die for our sin. He was buried in the ground, and something wonderful began to grow again. In a second garden, Jesus rose from the grave and gave us new life. Easter celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We celebrate the grace given to us by Jesus' death on the cross and in the marvelous miracle of his resurrection. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried. But on the fourth day, Jesus arose from the dead. But on the third day, I did it already. <laughs> this is a rose from a dead. That means Jesus is alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are forgiven. <laughs> and guess what? You are too. He is an awesome God. Mr. Easter Bunny, do you get it now? Not yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's see if this helps, Mr. Easter Bunny. Easter means different things to different people. For the people that believe in Jesus Christ, it is all about the love of God and Jesus Christ. Listen to my friends to tell you about what Easter means to us. He is for everlasting life. God promises this to everyone who has faith in Jesus Christ. People who follow the words of Jesus will get to live with God forever. A is for all who believes in the word of Jesus Christ. His message and lesson is for everybody living on earth. S is for sacrifice. Jesus gave up his life to pay for our sins. He gave up something important so we wouldn't have to. T is for trust. If we trust in God and Jesus, we can live a happy life. Trust means knowing that God and Jesus are with us even when we can't see them. E is for eternity. God said we can live with him forever if we follow Jesus Christ. And eternity never ends and includes when we are alive and after we die. R is for resurrection, which means Jesus came back from the dead to lead the people. By doing this impossible thing, he showed us that his message and powers are real. Romans 8, 11 says, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. This is what Easter means to me.
On Palm Sunday, Jesus entered Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Everyone went crazy, praising Jesus and waving palm branches to honor him. It was really incredible. The soldiers beat Jesus and put a crown of thorns on his head. They even made him carry his own cross to the place where he would die. Jesus hung on the cross while the soldiers mocked him. Finally, he died and was taken down to be buried. But that's not the end of the story. They buried Jesus inside of a tomb, and three days later, he arose. He came back to life. I am totally in. I want to follow Jesus, too. How do I do that? Just tell God that you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. I do believe. Finally. God had a plan from the very and me to be with him. Sin has a way, and sin separates you and me away from him. The cross is where his love poured out, but the story wasn't over yet. One, two, three, that's the end.
great performance. We are so we are so glad that you came to join us to listen to the Eagles Kids performance of Eagles Nest. Now in the Lord's name of prayer, let's pray. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, you are the only reason we are here today. We thank you for freely giving up your life so that we could all live. As we celebrate together, I pray that the message of Easter deeply resonates within each person here. I am so grateful for the, proof, trauma, the true promise of your salvation and assurance of your unfailing love. I pray that the love and testament that we can be packed to the power of your resurrection. We love you and pray all of these things in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, that was awesome, was it not? All right, so a couple last minute notes, and I'm gonna give all of your parents a chance to take pictures in like five seconds, I promise. I was told you get a whole minute, a whole 60 seconds to do it, but that's what we're gonna do in just a second. But anyway, can we just give another big round of applause for these kids? And all the volunteers, can we please give a big hand? Yes. So parents, really quick, for registration, you're still gonna check your kids out the same way that you check them in. You're gonna have to go over to the cafeteria, show your sticker, and you will pick up your kids there. Please don't try to pick them up in the hallway, okay? Just don't do that, because we need to make sure that every child goes home with their actual parent. Praise God. Okay, now, second. <laughs> We're gonna now, if you need to move around and get your camera where you want it to be to take a picture. Kiddos, can I have like one more minute? All right, because I need you to smile really pretty for your parents. Here we go. One, two, three, smile real big. If you all could give us an extra 10 minutes, Pastor Lee is gonna come and say a few words. And if you can continue, if you wanna continue to take pictures from where you're seated, that's fine. But if I could get everybody just to have a seat before you exit, please. You did a great job, oh my God. Wow. Well, everybody, let's give our children one more round. Aren't they incredible? Wow. So give yourselves a hand. Y'all parents, y'all have done an incredible job. Man, I, I see some, I see some talent up here. I mean, like some future singers who need to be on the stage. I see some personalities here that are just phenomenal. And that's a testament to the great job that you all have done with your children, your grandchildren. So, um, as they are leaving, let's give them a big round of applause. Yes. Well, I know all of our adult volunteers are busy, but I want to recognize a few of them. Really, just give all of our adult volunteers a great big round of applause. They are incredible. 
And then Rhonda, can you wave at us, Rhonda? She is the director of Eagle Kids. Yes, thank you, Rhonda. You're so awesome. Well, uh, for those of you who are joining us with the fast, uh, I'm going to do some serious eating this evening, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, um, I don't know about you, but uh, all right. So, we're going to have a word of prayer, and then um, we'll let everybody go home. Let's pray. Father, your word says if we train up a child in the way that they should go, that they will not depart from it. Lord, these children have sang your praises. They have uh, proclaimed your word. And Lord, we pray that what they know about Jesus will grow and that they will develop and continue to develop a profound relationship with you. Lord, I'm praying that these parents and relatives, that we will surround them with encouragement and be a good example for them, and that you will give us wisdom as to how we should raise our children. Lord, bless them, protect them, and we just thank you for this next generation. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you all. <laughs>